to day five of the 30 days of cleaning with me, Hayley. Today is the vlog that I want all of you to get behind and I'm gonna tell you why. We are going to be cleaning and organizing our wallets and purses, but there's a catch. When I say cleaning and organizing our wallets and purses, I don't just mean our physical ones. I mean our digital purses and wallets too. A study found that coins, cash, credit and debit cards are some of the germiest things we can come into contact with. This makes our wallets and purses a bacteria hotspot. And if you thought it was coins and cash that are the dirtiest things in your wallet, hold your horses, because you, my friends, would be wrong. It is, in fact, our credit and debit cards that came out as the germiest of all things in our wallets. Who knew? And there's more. Because of recent events with COVID-19, a study also found that COVID-19 can live for up to nine days on smooth, shiny surfaces. This includes our credit and debit cards. The droplets from the virus can land on your card from someone who may be infected, leaving you susceptible to COVID-19. So with those scary statistics, let's head over to the sink and get our wallets germ-free and clean as a whistle. I'm so excited for this one, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, the first thing you want to do is get your purse or wallet. This is my one. Already, it is looking pretty grimy. Once you have this out, you're gonna go through your wallet and anything inside that you're not using. So this will include old store cards that have expired, duplicates of cards that you don't need, old bank cards. We're gonna get rid of those. If you've got any old receipts, just anything that doesn't belong in your wallet anymore, we're not gonna focus on cleaning that because like I keep saying here on the Haley's Help channel, we wanna clean smarter, not harder. So we don't wanna clean things that we're just gonna to toss away anyway. So get rid of those first and focus on the things that you do use and that you do need in your wallet. So instantly, I have a voucher here and that is no good. It was valid until the 24th of December, 2020. Goodbye, sister, you're out of here. Okay, guys, so I've removed all of my cards. They are gonna be put to one side. There are more bits of stuff in here that they do belong in there. That's my little Sienna. That will be wiped over as well because it's laminated. That will go back in so that can go with the cards. And now we have got an empty wallet. Now our wallets and purses are empty, we're gonna go ahead and wash them. We will be tackling the credit and debit card shortly, but first of all, we want to get our wallets and purses clean. For this, we are gonna be using antibacterial dish soap and some warm water. You can go ahead and use a Oxo Good Grip and a toothbrush as well to get in any crevices. And if you've got like a grained type purse, that's really handy to have a toothbrush just so you can get into the little pockets that dirt gets ingrained into. What we are going to do is we are going to wipe the entire wallet over with our solution that we have just made up. You just need to use a clean cloth and just keep going over it. And these back bits here, like I said, if you've got a um, this sort of, it's really, I must get a new wallet because this type of material is super annoying to clean and it's just a bane of my life. But if you've got this kind of um, pocketed material, go ahead and get your toothbrush just so you can get into the grains.
you are happy that your wallet or purse is clean, we're gonna move on to our credit and debit cards and store cards if you have them. Now, for this, it's gonna be slightly different. We are going to be using bleach. Now, if you don't wanna use bleach, that is absolutely fine. You can still use your antibacterial dish soap if you choose to, but I am gonna go in with the bleach for this particular task. And we're just gonna fill up the sink with some water. We're gonna add our bleach to it. And we can now go ahead and clean our credit cards, our store cards, our driver's licenses. Make sure if you are using bleach that you do wear rubber gloves. And literally just pop your cards into the solution and we're gonna give these a good clean. Don't worry about anything bad happening to them. They are waterproof and this is just gonna make them nice and sterile and should any COVID-19 droplets, God forbid, be on them, this will absolutely kill them. The bleach will kill them. Okay guys, once you have washed your credit and debit cards, you wanna give them a scrub for maybe 20 seconds. You don't need any longer than that. You can go ahead and then place them down on a old tea towel and let them dry. clean and dry you can go ahead and store them back in your nice clean wallet or purse and you are good to go it is estimated that in the uk alone 25 billion pounds is wasted each year by people paying for subscriptions that they don't use or want how many of us have signed up to a free trial and forgot to cancel yep i'm looking at you I think it's safe to say that more of us do this than we would like to admit. I know for sure I have had several different subscriptions, whether that be through apps or through Xbox Lives for the children that they don't use, and they come out monthly and they are just a drain on our finances. Now more than ever, with COVID-19, many of us have been hit hard with redundancies and having to tighten the purse strings. So today, my friends, we're gonna purge, honey. I want you right now to go online and check every single payment going out. Xbox Live, Amazon Prime, Netflix, gym membership, food subscription boxes, app subscriptions, Basically, if it is not a home bill, I want you to decide, do I use this, do I need this, and is this good value? If the answer is no, you are going to hit cancel right now. I really hope at the end of this video, you guys are feeling super excited about what is to come. I really hope that you have purged any subscriptions that you have coming out, and I hope this has saved you a small amount of money, or a large amount of money maybe, in your bank. Join me tomorrow, my loves, for day six of 30 Days of Cleaning with Hayley. I am so excited for tomorrow's cleaning task. I cannot even. I mean, stop right now. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. I love you guys. Come back again tomorrow. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Get everyone involved in this clean because it is good for the mind and good for our homes. Love ya.